Construction is underway this summer to help make Utah ski resorts safer. It's an all, all in an effort to better prepare for the risk of avalanches. New specialist Michael Locklear shows us the new technology replacing old military weapons. If you're hiking up at Alta this summer, you may see these signs, a warning about unexploded artillery. Right now, the ski area is working to decrease any danger by upgrading how they handle avalanche control. While this chopper works on new avalanche towers at Alta, Ron Trapper calls his days on ski patrol. He once got caught in a small slide. Got buried only like up to about waist high, so it was just kind of like, you know, you go back and you look at that and you think, well, that was kind of exciting. Uh, don't want to do that again necessarily. New technology is making it easier and safer to manage avalanches as old military weapons are phased out. Oh, you could have a, an ordinance that ends up where it shouldn't be. Mike Mon says Alta Ski Area is investing close to $1 million this summer for Vison Avalanche Towers designed in Europe. It's comprised of a tower and then we have what we call a, a box that the charges are held in at the top. Alta installed three last summer in the Supreme Area. This summer, Chopper 5 shows the foundations are laid as they work on five more towers around Mount Baldy. More coming next summer. And then when it drops out of the tower, it would drop out of the tower and there would be cords attached to it that uh, go back up to the tower. And when they fully extend, then they ignite the blasting cap. UDOT is also using these towers now, and so are other Utah resorts, like Snowbird. It's the future of uh, where we see avalanche control work going. They allow an avalanche to be triggered remotely. Less exposure to personnel, and we're not actually using military weapons or firing projectiles. Uh, For hikers, pets, and skiers, the upgrades will soon mean less risk of running into danger. Anything that can make, make it simpler and safer um, and protect the patrollers' lives too. This winter will be the last time Alta uses their military equipment, ending the way avalanches have been triggered for decades. For KSL 5 News, I'm Michael Locklear reporting.